Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. We're here to talk about what we saw in yesterday's Nintendo Direct. So we have a lot to talk about. Sit back, relax. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and welcome to the family. Now, let's talk about yesterday's Nintendo Direct. So it has been roughly 531 days since the last Nintendo Direct, but who's counting? Some people were very disappointed with the new Direct. I was indifferent to it. I think there could have been more, could have been better things, but let's start off with what I really want to talk about. First off was the Smash reveal, revealing the brand new character like I predicted in the last video. It started off with a Smash reveal, revealing the characters Pyra and Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Boy did we not expect that. We were expecting a completely different character, not a Nintendo character. I mean, I guess it's alright. I don't know much about the Xenoblade franchise. People have wanted Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 forever, and I feel like this is Sakurai or Nintendo's way of giving them the middle finger, being like, hey, you want this character? Well, too bad, you're getting these characters. Which I guess is alright, it's not a big deal. But, I'm kind of falling out of add another sword fighter in Smash. I'm becoming one of those people. All jokes aside, Pyra and Mithra were the first things to appear in the Nintendo Direct. My predictions were way off. I didn't expect it to be Pyra and Mithra. I thought it was going to be like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, uh, Master Chief, Doom Guy, anybody but these two. But I guess you can't argue it because they're Nintendo characters. I guess we'll have to wait for the next two DLC characters. And who knows if they're going to even do another DLC pack. Though that's been a rumor for a long time that they're going to do another DLC pack. We're just going to have to wait and see if Nintendo goes forward with those plans to make another DLC pack. As of right now, Pyra and Mithra are going to be added to Smash. Though we don't know when exactly they're going to be added, but those are just the characters that have been revealed, and so we're moving on to our next one. I was right about them talking about Animal Crossing. With the next update, they're adding Super Mario Bros. themed things like furniture and clothing, and you're going to be able to decorate your village with warp pipes and things like that, and you could teleport to different villages and different islands I should say. It's going to be pretty cool. So this looks like the last thing Nintendo is going to be doing for the Mario Brothers 35th anniversary. And yes, they are going to keep Animal Crossing updated uh, well until the next year. So that's something to look forward for all the Animal Crossing fans. That we're going to keep getting stuff added and it's going to keep updating. And they're going to keep adding islands and more fun things to Animal Crossing as the time goes on. I'm not sure if they're going to do another update after this, but it sure looks like they're going to keep it well updated into the next year. So I don't know about this one but they started talking about the new Mario Golf game which looks very odd. It's like the regular continuation of Mario Golf but they added like power-ups and things to it like it's a Mario game existing within Mario Golf. It's kind of odd but um, I guess if you're into Mario Golf there's a Mario Golf for you. They kind of showed it off right after they said hey check out this new game after they were showing 3D World and Bowser's Fury on screen. I thought it was going to be Odyssey 2. I thought it was going to be a new Mario game. But I was way off. It is Mario Golf. Alright. If you guys are a fan of Mario Golf, to each their own. But I'm not a big fan of Mario Golf, so I'm going to pass on this one. The concept seems odd that everybody runs after each other and knocks each other over to get to the golf ball and has star power-ups and things like that. Things you'd see in a Mario game are in Mario Golf. It's kind of odd, but I guess. <laughs> if you're into Mario Golf, there you go. But I'm going to take a hard pass on that one. I thought it was odd that they're hyping up a golf game so much, but it is Mario, so... Mario Golf is an already established franchise. Might as well add on to it, right? So, a game I keep deleting and reinstalling to my hard drive on PS4 is in fact Fall Guys. Fall Guys is coming to the Nintendo Switch, only a year and a half too late from its console counterpart. Fall Guys really annoyed me, and it got me and my friends really angry, but the thing is, it's a fun game, and I think it's going to benefit from being on the Nintendo Switch. If you've never played Fall Guys before, it's a game where a bunch of people are doing challenges, and if you succeed in the challenge, you aren't eliminated, but if you fail, you're eliminated and you start again. It's kind of like a battle royale in a different kind of fashion. If you play the game, you'll understand why it's called Fall Guys, because the guys fall over so much, it's kind of annoying. But <laughs> I guess that's the charm of the game, is just falling over a lot. You might get some enjoyment out of this, but again, I keep getting angry over it. Though I do have fun every time I play it. 
So Fall Guys is coming to Nintendo Switch in the summertime. So that's something to look forward to for all you Fall Guy fans. So there's Fall Guys on the Switch. The Outer Wilds, a very popular PC game, is coming to Nintendo Switch. It's where you venture into the universe and have 22 minutes to discover all you can before the universe resets back to default settings. I've never played this game myself, but I've watched a playthrough of it and it is a pretty cool game. So go ahead and give it a play, it comes out this summer. It should bring hours of entertainment on the Nintendo Switch. And a kind of surprise reveal, a Ninja Gaiden Master Collection is coming. It's going to have Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. This kind of comes as a surprise is because Nintendo doesn't really have much rated M games on their platform. But these games are fantastic and you should give them a try. I might give them a try myself because I've never actually played these Ninja Gaiden games. I played the NES games and they are hard as hell. I'm not sure if these games are difficult, but it should bring a few hours of entertainment just because it's three games and one $60 package. I think that's a great steal. Remastered and relaunched for the Nintendo Switch. It's also coming out on the PS4, but the Nintendo Switch is the place to play just because you can bring it with you wherever you want. So I might be giving this game a try when it comes out this summer if I want a good challenge. A sequel to one of my favorite game franchises from Nintendo is happening. Splatoon 3. In my prediction video, I said that there would be no Splatoon 3. Boy, I was wrong, and I'm glad I was wrong, because I'm excited for Splatoon 3. It takes place in a new setting. Not sure what the setting is yet, but we are sure that it's going to have a single player campaign just like the other Splatoons. I can't wait to see what they offer. It looks like they're going to switch the multiplayer up just a little bit. So. They're going to show more as time goes on, but that's going to release in 2022. So there's no rush in making Splatoon 3 happen. But at least the game's in production right now, and we can expect it to be out in 2022. They haven't said what exactly the release date is, just that it's going to come out sometime next year for the Nintendo Switch. And I'm excited. I've loved Splatoon since the first game, and I'm just excited that there's going to be a third game. And then you had a bunch of indie games, of course, be revealed by this Nintendo Direct. Of course, No More Heroes 3, which I think we should talk about, is finally getting released on August 27th this summer. There's a lot of stuff coming out this summer for the Nintendo Switch, and I think it's a good time to get a Nintendo Switch Lite, or a regular Nintendo Switch if you can find it. Because there's a lot of indie things coming, and No More Heroes 3 is a great addition to that indie platform. There's this odd game called Knockout City that was announced. And it's like a futuristic dodgeball with the characters being very annoying. <laughs> That's what everybody on the internet's saying. It's like dodgeball where everyone's just really annoying. It's uh, I guess if you like that kind of game, I guess it's like a battle royale kind of dodgeball kind of game. I'm not sure about the specifics, but it's like, all right, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> all right, now the real reason you guys are here. Let's talk about The Legend of Zelda. All right. So, right away, Anuma came on screen and said there is no news regarding Breath of the Wild 2. After almost two years of production, there's no news regarding Breath of the Wild 2. Really? That seems kind of odd, that there's nothing about Breath of the Wild 2 just yet. I guess the game's still in early production? That seems kind of off. No Breath of the Wild 2 details. Alright then. But, hey... We got Hyrule Warriors details that they're going to add more DLC to that game. If you play Hyrule Warriors uh, Age of Calamity, there's some DLC coming for that game. So that's something to look forward to while we're waiting for Breath of the Wild 2. But what we really have to look forward to while waiting for Breath of the Wild 2 is Skyward Sword HD. Yes, finally Skyward Sword is getting that remaster I've always wanted it to get. Skyward Sword is a fantastic Zelda game with a phenomenal story. The motion controls held it back a little bit, but in this trailer, we can see Nintendo is trying to make the motion controls a lot better. Uh, the gameplay just seems a lot better. You guys are going to love the story of Skyward Sword if you've never played it. It's the creation of the Master Sword. So it is a fantastic Zelda story, and you guys are going to love it when it comes to the Nintendo Switch. I know I'm excited for it, and it comes out July 16th. They also revealed Zelda-themed Joy-Cons, which is something I desperately need in my life. I have not bought a single pair of Joy-Cons ever. I never needed to replace my Joy-Cons, 
But I think this is the time to get more Joy-Cons. Because, hello, Legend of Zelda theme. I love Legend of Zelda so much that I need these Joy-Cons really badly. To sum it all up, I can honestly say that Nintendo Direct was more on the disappointing side. We waited such a long time, and we got very little, well, anything really. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What was your favorite part of the Direct if you had one? Thank you for watching today's video and supporting the channel. Love you to death and never stop gaming. You have yourselves a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new upload. See you later my friends.